So how do you actually decode a JSON web token? So the thing is, JSON web tokens come in two forms, right? So uh, you can have like a JSON web signature token and you can have a JSON web encryption token. Now with signature tokens, the, the content is only signed. So everyone can see the content, but you real or you can recognize when it has been when people tamper with it. And JSON web encryption token, well, obviously the content there is like encrypted, so you need like the you need like a way on how you can decrypt these things. So you need the private key. So what we're looking at here right now is like mostly JSON web signature tokens, but also all parts of JSON web encryption tokens are base 64 URL encoded. So you need to decode them as well. But if you decode, for example, this base 64 URL encoded ciphertext, well, then you have, you get like the ciphertext, right? So still you cannot read the actual content, which is like the purpose of JSON web encryption token, right? To make sure that not everyone can read it. So let's, for example, take a JSON web signature token. So something like this, and you can see that like the first part here before the dot that is like the header so if you copy this you can simply decode this in the command line just for fun so you can do something like uh, base 64 uh, dash dash decode and then you use these to just say okay use this as standard in and you can see this base 64 here results in this uh, json object so algorithm hs256 and type is uh, json web token and you can do this with all parts right so technically speaking you can do the same you can say base 64 dash dash decode by the way there's also online editors for this right so you don't have to do this like by yourself and also typically like with libraries you also don't have to explicitly base 64 url decode because the library is going to do it for you so also don't attempt to do it the thing is just that you need to understand that all these parts with JSON Web Signature and with JSON Web Encryption tokens are base 64 URL encoded. So before you do anything with it, you first need to decode them. But in case of the JSON Web Signature token, remember, everyone can read the data, right? It's just signed. It's not encrypted. Like here it is encrypted but not signed. Yeah, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you can also send me a tweet. So my Twitter handle is at production coder. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.